Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is finally that Christmas time anticipated video that everybody does. The what I got for Christmas vlog, it is officially December 25th, aka Christmas, and it's about 7 p.m. and I'm just settling down and organizing all of my presents today. Was such a wild day, very busy. I'm gonna keep this as short as sweet as possible because honestly, I have a lot to get through. So with that said, I'm gonna start by saying in no way am I trying to brag at all. I know you guys hear this in every freaking video that's ever posted for the what I got for Christmas vlog, but it needs to be said because people can be so judgmental and genuinely I don't ask for these many things. I really don't. I would never imagine to get these many things. I don't expect it in any way, shape, or form. And this year I definitely got more spoiled than normal because David came into my life this year, which means I got an entire second Christmas and his mom basically shops for her like kids-in-laws the exact same way she shops for her kids so there's a lot a lot going on and I have some from the family I babysit for obviously I have some from David my brother my grandmother my parents David's parents David's brother and sister but I just want to say that I am so unbelievably thankful and blessed that I get to be spoiled this much in a time like COVID I am extra lucky that we even got to be together for Christmas this year, that we got to exchange gifts, and that we are financially in a good place to spoil each other this Christmas. And genuinely, I have loved spoiling all the people that also got me gifts. I spoiled the crap out of my family and friends this year, and I just love doing that. So with that being said, let's just hop right in because I have a lot to get through, so let's keep this fast and quick. But don't forget to subscribe to me before you start watching this video and give it a big thumbs up if you like it so far, even though it's just been the intro. But comment down below what your favorite gift was this Christmas. I just like seeing what people get for Christmas. Everyone likes these videos, so that's why I film it. We've got a lot of fun vlogs coming up for you, big lifestyle change in the next month, so you definitely want to subscribe so you can see it. I don't even know where to begin to be honest. Uh, David and his family and I did Christmas a couple days ago on the 23rd, so I think I'm gonna start there just to get through their gifts and then I'll do everything that I got today. So all of these gifts are in bags, so they're just gonna be completely at random, except for I separated the ones I got from his sister and brother-in-law, my future sister and brother-in-law. So those are separate, but everything else is what I received from David's parents, my mother and father-in-law. So let's just get right to it. I'm not going to try to explain a lot, but also just to preface, a lot of these things are combined gifts for me and David that were given to both of us because we're moving in together. So a lot of these things will just be useful for both of us. So not necessarily all of this is just for me, but we got a food like travel container. We got these really cute soup bowl holders when you like microwave a bowl and it gets too hot and they're reversible. So it has Minnie Mouse on one side and the polka dots on the other so you can reverse them. You don't burn yourself when you're taking things out of the microwave. A lot of this bag is my stocking stuffers so I did get an entire stocking from them. This was the stocking they bought me, super cute. We've got some mango wine. I'm 21, don't worry. I got these cute focuses, these cute little socks with doggies on them. A little sewing kit for the apartment. Some lint chocolates. I steal David's family's Rice Krispie treats. David just walked in. So she got me a whole thing of Rice Krispie treats. Are you gonna join me? Oh, I love you a bowl scraper these are probably my favorite gift that I got this year to be honest so it's socks it's a BFF and it came with matching socks for me and B how cute are those a bunch of candy some little doggy playing cards produce bags which will become a trend in this year's Christmas my chai these freaking sponges for the kitchen a thing of cookies a puppy calendar, wall calendar, and a wedding magazine, because if you don't know by now, you're lost on this channel. But I was engaged in October. Moving on to the next bag. I got these freaking Winnie the Pooh slippers. If you watched the vlog of David's Christmas 
then you would have seen these. We got a lot of board games because David's family loves to play board games, so they thought we'd they'd start our collection for when we move, but his mom got us this like two player game. It's a little wordy, so something for us to play, which will be fun. Really nice king size sheets for our apartment. This I don't know if you can see it, wall art that I actually picked out at Hobby Lobby. It says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Very cute. Goes with our aesthetic. And this ice coffee machine, last bag. We got this game called Hot Oh my god. We got this hot seat game, which should be fun. This other game, Millborns. This 2021 Disney ornament, which is super cute. And this Peg's picked up in Disney because I liked it and she snuck it by buying it, but it's this little doggy mug that has a Shih Tzu on it because I have Shipu. And it's the closest thing that looks like her. She's 90% Shipu. Also, Mr. Mister is gonna be roaming around in the back. And then these are all the clothes I got. So starting with this Columbia crew neck, this old navy like crew neck sweater. It has little like rose flowers on it, super cute. Honestly, my mother-in-law knows how to shop for me. This green sweater, this really nice fleece jacket from Columbia, this little sweater, this sweater, then she got me this t-shirt from the company Puppy Love, I think it is. It's from this little company and it says this on the back. Just a girl from a small town who loves rescue dogs. Super cute. And then she also got me this dress, which is not going to fit on camera, but it's just like a t-shirt dress. And it has, I'll show you the sex. It's tied, but it has this little bow and like these frilly sleeves, which I love. And then last but not least, I got the large Java sock, which helps prevent condensation getting on the counter. So it'll be good for when I go to work and I have drinks at the nurse's station and all that jazz. So that'll be cool. Oh my gosh. Have I spotted the most beautiful woman in the planet? <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Okay, bye. Okay, so that is everything that Pegs and Dan got me, which is insanely in amazing. I am so greatly thankful for them, and it's, they did not have to do that at all. It's absolutely bonkers how much they bought me, but I am definitely very, very thankful. So next is from my brother and sister-in-law, Matt and Michelle. So they got us a few things. So first of all, Michelle got me these cute little mini earrings, which are adorable. Next, I got this perfume from them. So I guess this company, Dossier, 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 recreates expensive perfumes and it's like half the price. So this is inspired by the YSL Black Opium perfume and it smells so good. Yep. So pretty, very pretty. That's really cool, I'm excited about that. Next, because we're moving and I'm in a spot that I don't know, she got me this defense keychain that she has as hand sanitizer, chapstick, a lanyard, a pom-pom for prettiness, um, a bottle cap opener, a little whistle, and then the two most important things I think are the uh, alarm. So you just pull this and it's ridiculously loud, but you just pull this and it sets off an alarm, but it's also a flashlight. Um, so if anyone tries to come and attack me, I'll just pull that and they won't want anything to do with me. And then this like stabby thingy. So because I'll be in a new state that I don't really know that well, I'll be bringing this with me. And then I think Michelle is the most board gamey in the family. So she got us three board games. Well, both of them did. So first we got this game called Cluckle, which looks hilarious. I'm excited to try. And then two iconic basics we got Trouble and Connect for. So that's everything from Matt and Michelle. Again, I'm so, so thankful for them and all that they got us. And I'm very excited to 
be related to them. So that's everything that I got at David's family party, except for one thing he gave me, but I am going to show you guys that with all the stuff he got me. Definitely a fun day we had the other night, and they loved all the gifts we got them, so that was really fun. Now I'm going to move on to what uh, the family got me that I babysit for. So I babysit four kids right now, triplets, they're three, and then a six-year-old. If you didn't see the vlog that I did with them, this vlog mess, you should definitely go check it out because they are some pretty cute kiddos. But um, we did exchange gifts, so they did not have to get me anything. I genuinely just love shopping for kids, so I got them a gift, but they were gracious enough to give me a gift in return. And a couple of the things I don't have presents, so I'll let you know. First of all, they got me a homemade like bread. I honestly couldn't tell you what kind it is, but it looks delicious. We haven't tried it yet, it's in the freezer. And they got us a really nice homemade bread, and then she got me a box of peppermint candies from Trader Joe's so those are really good and I've already like scarfed them all down but then they got me this little bag that says Team Bride which is so cute because I'm getting married and inside the bag it came with this Team Bride like nail kit a beauty sponge these we already took them out because the kids wanted to play with them when I got them but like eyeball like patches you can either freeze them or warm them up in the microwave and you like put them on your eyes two towel scrunchies which is awesome so when your hair is wet two hair clips and then two face masks and hand masks which should be super fun i haven't gotten into them yet because i wanted to save all the gifts to show you guys in this vlog but i'm very thankful for them and the time that we've gotten to spend together over the last couple months and they did not have to get me a gift but i'm very 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 thankful all right next is today's stuff so obviously i'm going to start with what i started with today which was my stocking so let's do that up on the hearth my mom always does an like a little overflow of our stocking which is just stuff that wouldn't fit in the stocking so one of the things i got up there was rolls of packing tape because we are moving in less than a month which is absolutely bonkers i also got this spray bottle and then here is the big guy so this is what my stocking looks like if you've never seen it before we got it at ll bean it is so pretty and this year my mom got david a matching stocking it's the same brand it's just plaid and obviously has his name on it but now we'll have like nice matching stockings for next year so let's just let's just bust through this stocking with me i got a pack of black and white socks i got a headband from hello headband i got a frick ton of beauty blenders, color catching sheets for laundry. This is a magnetic tray that like can catch all my bobby pins when I'm using them, which is helpful. A Chipotle gift card. This is a press penny holder. So I have a freak ton of Disney pennies. So I'm gonna put them all in here. I collect press pennies. So this avocado like opener, I guess if you would call it, it takes out the pit and then like cuts into the avocado more produce bags a hershey kiss i got a another java sock but this is the medium size so it would be really nice that i have a large and a medium size and they were both really pretty prints so i have those the it cc cream which is my foundation that i use my toothpaste yes it's kids toothpaste don't judge me these little claw clips i got a set of four cheese knives we got some lint candies, some fake eyelashes. This is like in the packaging, but it's like a wick cutter for my candles. A toothbrush, a TJ Maxx Marshalls Home Goods gift card, an Olive Garden gift card, hot cocoa, Dunkaroos, which is a throwback of a gift, M&M's gold coins, which is a tradition in this house, and this cute little lanyard for my keys. So that is everything that I got in my stocking. My mom overflows our stockings. It's kind of ridiculous, but that's that. Let's hop into other people's gifts, I guess. So I think I'm gonna do my grandmother next. We were very lucky that my grandma got to join us today for Christmas, but she gave me a $25 Amazon gift card and this scrub top, which I freaking love this color. It's like a teal. It's really pretty and it's the brand that I love, so. Now I have the scrub top, and that's what my Graham gave me, so thank you so much, Graham. I'm so glad that you came here today. 
very blessed. Next, I think I'll show you guys what my brother gave me. So the first thing he gave me is actually kind of funny. So he got me this octopus <laughs> and it, everyone's seen these. It's like the happy, like angry octopus. I just think it's so cute and he thought it was funny. So he decided to get it for me and I love him. I think he's gonna be adorable in our apartment. And then the other thing that he got me, it's actually really awesome. So he got us this king size knit blanket for our bed in our apartment. It's gonna look so nice. It goes right with our aesthetic of our room. So I'm very excited to see this on our bed. I think it's gonna look so, so, so pretty and it looks so comfy and it's so soft and I love it. So thank you so much, buddy, for all of the gifts today. Next is what Santa got me. So I only got one gift from Santa this year, which is a little sad because I like Santa gifts. It's a good gift, so that's okay. Santa got me the Cricut Easy Press. So next, I think I'll do what David got me and then end with what my parents got me. So on the night that we did David's family, this is what David got me. So it's a wedding countdown block. So it's like days until Mr. and Mrs. And then you can put all of the numbers in there. David also got me Dorables. So I opened them all. I got the White Rabbit, Smee, Dopey, Ariel, and Belle. Another thing David got me is this fancy three hole punch because we are bindering everything. That's important. He also got me the Russell Stover marshmallow candies that I love and reusable produce bags. So now we have plenty of those. Those are all the reusable produce bags I got. He also got me a set of scrubs. It's the same as the other ones that I just showed you. It's the same brand, same style. It's just in navy blue. So now I have a navy blue set. He also got me these pens that I love for nursing. He got me two scratch tickets. This very cute car coaster that says the lord is my strength and my song because i'm getting a new car soon and then he also got me this pray about everything magnet for our fridge which is really nice and then the last thing david got me is this really nice fleece throw pillow for our couch he also got me a starbucks gift card and a chick-fil-a gift card i'm definitely so thankful for all the stuff he got me he really like thought through it and was all anxious about the gifts he got me but i love all of them absolutely so much and they're all so useful and purposeful so i'm very happy all right so now let's jump into all the gifts that my mom got me my mom and dad so a lot of these again are for both me and david because they were for they're for our apartment so we're both gonna use them so this was given to both of us this is a big thing oh geez it's a hamper so i got a lot of organizational things for our apartment so one thing we got are these S hooks so we can hang up pants and shorts and things by the like loopholes in our jeans. Another like aesthetic thing we got are these spray bottles. Um, another thing that my mom got me is this paper cutter for all of our wedding to do stuff because I am hand making all of our invitations and save the dates and programs and all of the paper stuff. So I definitely needed a paper cutter for that. And then my mom surprised me with these, but she got me white slip on vans, which I already own, but she said mine are so disgusting. She wanted to get me new ones. So I have new white vans now. I also got for my mom claw clips for clothes literally all i got were scrubs same brand just this like cranberry color maroon and then my mom also got me the pants to match the top that my grandmother gave me and then the only other article of clothing i got for my mom because she knows i just don't need clothes is this like workout sports bra top that i picked out on amazon my mom thought she was funny and got us this big box of dog potty paper pads because my dog is atrocious with going to the bathroom. So she got us those for our apartment. I also got two charging cables for my phone. A couple other random things we got are like onion and avocado holders. We also got this cute little like egg thing to make perfectly round 
fried eggs for egg sandwiches. So B got me and David one gift, which is technically for my mom, but it's from our dog. And she got us this printout, not this exact one, but a like printout frame of me, David, and B in a frame, which will be really cute that we can put up in our apartment. It'll just be like our little family. Um, another thing that my mom got me is this cookbook so it's um to my daughter with love from my kitchen so she's gonna fill it out in the next month or so with like all of her recipes which is really cool because i got david one with all of his mom's recipes so now we'll have all of our mom's recipes at home that we can make some other random things i got were these like t-shirt hangers i guess they like fold down to save space since i'm taking my mom's cricket i also need the tools to take with me so i got a two pack of sticky mats and the starter tool kit and also this thing which helps you weed out like the little pieces so you can collect them in here but it's really for like nail polish oh i also got these which are clear reusable glass straws i just we also got this cute little kitchen gadget it's reusable like snack bags plastic bags it's like yeah storage bags i guess another bigger thing that my mom got me is this shoe organizer from ikea i don't know if anyone knows what i'm talking about but it looks like this and it's really thin and it holds all your shoes so i really really wanted it for our like entryway in our apartment so now i have that thanks to my mother my dad also gave us a card with a hundred dollars cash in it and then my mom got me this really pretty phone case and then a little note that says I can choose, oops, I can choose any pop socket to go with it because I can't live without a pop socket on my phone. I also got this eyelet puncher with all of the eyelet, gold eyelets. So this is what we're doing for our save the dates to put them together with. So she got me those so I don't have to buy them. We also got a knife sharpener for our kitchen knives and it'll make sense in a minute. We got this knife set for our kitchen which is really nice because it's light wood and has white handles it's super pretty honestly a lot of these aren't really fun because we have an apartment and it's adulty things we also got more sheets for our bed so we got like containers that look like this i wanted some nice storage containers to organize our fridge like the aesthetic fridges and pantries that people have and then we also got this set of fridge bins to organize our fridge too one of the other last things we got is this super cool jar it says pennies from heaven it has a little note on the back it says when an angel misses you they toss a penny down sometimes just to cheer you up and make you smile out of a frown so don't pass by that penny when you're feeling blue it may be a penny from heaven that an angel tossed to you so my grandfather just passed away in september and my mom got us these jars and then got these pennies made that say r.i.p gramps so we can keep them in our house and whenever we find pennies in the ground we'll just bring them home and put them in our jar and let it fill up and see how many times gramps sends us a penny one of the last gifts my mom got me was a new cordless vacuum which was a big gift that i really wanted this year i was dying for a vacuum so i got a shark cordless lightweight vacuum so the last thing i wanted to show you guys was something actually David got from my mom, but it's kind of a gift for both of us. So I wanted to show you guys So it starts off. She got us these little books that say do you know your bride and Do you know your groom? They're just little questionnaire books that I think will be super fun We can have discussions over and just see how we did and then to go with that She made us this jar that says date night and it has a bunch of little tags my mom made for us to pick and do date nights around charlotte which is super fun so see the stuff that we can do in charlotte that's specific to charlotte and or stuff we can do like in the house so it'll just be like while we're gone and kind of by ourselves because we don't really know anyone down there that we can just pick a date night card and we have a bunch of stuff to do so it's things like invite some friends over for pizza and a board game so maybe that'll help us meet some new friends and invite people over or build a blanket for and play would you rather so just super fun little things that my mom made us and then to go with it got us all these freaking gift cards cheesecake factory olive garden red robin and 
Chick-fil-A. They're all restaurants that are very popular down there. So that'll be super fun. But I just thought that was a really, really cute and thoughtful <coughs> gift that we can use around our apartment and might pick us up while we're kind of bored and all of that. And I just think it's cute that my mom personalized it to us. That is everything that I got for Christmas. Holy crap, is it a lot. I feel like we're just gonna need a whole moving truck just for our Christmas presents this year because it's not. Again, I am not here to brag. I am just so incredibly grateful and blessed for everything that we got. It is more and more and more and more than I could ever even ask for or imagine. But I am so thankful our families love to spoil us and have the opportunity to spoil us, especially in today's times. And we love spoiling them right back. And I can't wait until we have like big people jobs so we can like really spoil the heck out of our siblings and our kids someday and our parents. It was a lovely Christmas this year. I it, am just so overwhelmed with how grateful I am that I still have my family around, that none of us have caught COVID. None of David's immediate family nor my immediate family has gotten COVID, like literally knock on wood. But we're just so grateful that we are moving in less than a month and into a beautiful apartment into a really wonderful city and we both have jobs set up and we are like good to go so it's more than i could ever ask for at the end of the year but i am so thankful for everyone in my life i'm so thankful that david's family has come into my life in the last year and that they absolutely love spoiling us and that we are so lucky that everyone supports us in our marriage and our friendship and just our love for each other and our families get along and it's just there's so much to be grateful for. So I really hope that you had a wonderful Christmas with your family and that you got everything you wanted and you just truly enjoyed spending time with them. I can't believe Christmas is over already. It's absolutely wild. But on to a lot more coming up. So I'm excited for the next month. Don't forget to subscribe to me because we have so much going on. You want to see our beautiful apartment. I'm going to do an empty apartment tour. We're going to do a moving vlog. I'll do a starting my nursing job vlog. We've got a lot coming up. So definitely subscribe if you want to see all of that. And I appreciate you if you already are subscribed. Don't forget to like this video. If you enjoyed it, comment down below what your favorite gift was for Christmas. And if you've stayed this long in this video, then I freaking appreciate you because it's a long one. I can already tell. I am going to go and close out my vlog for today's video and edit and go to bed and just chill for the next few days because it's needed. I appreciate you guys and I will see you next time. Bye. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. This is